In Manor Lords, you slowly build up a sustainable settlement, carefully growing your holdings, and can even walk around listening to the cheers of your people. So why am I wearing a helmet? That's because I need protection, because I'm about to see if a bunch of homeless farmers can survive no supplies and constant raids. And also, it, it looks cool. I can't see my script. It also means people don't mock my haircut. <laughs> also with these settings, your people will abandon you almost immediately as the game starts. As the really high penalty side of things means they're not willing to starve their own children for your benefit. We start with two bits of timber that we presumably stumbled upon, but other than that, we have absolutely nothing. And an ox. It only gets worse as the game gets on, as you need to satisfy their literal every desire. They want a better church. They want ale. They want to not starve to death. I mean, it's unreasonable. If you don't satisfy their every craving, then they'll immediately leave you for someone richer, or taller, or more handsome. Or better. One desire of mine you could satisfy right now is getting to 200,000 subscribers. We're really close and unlike those goddamn peasants, I'll never leave you for someone taller, more handsome, better. I just... <laughs> Go. This is Big Dave. He's a proper Brexit geezer and today we're going to be trying to do the most difficult start possible in Manor Lords. I have yet to beat the game uh, play it any sort of uh, effective way beyond my previous video, but I, I think I'm going to rise to the challenge here. So we have the present aggressive uh, off-map adversary. We have the frequent raiders, uh, the lowest possible uh, raider for years I can get. We've got five initial bandit camps, the highest possible bandit camp spawn limit. We're going to start in winter with no supplies, <laughs> and everything else is demanding and difficult and generally miserable. I don't know if this is possible, but we're going to try. This might take a few attempts because we're going to start in winter with nothing. So people are going to start starving to death immediately. I, I don't think this is going to go well. I really, I really don't. Um, but yeah, we, we can try. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so we started in winter. What do we, what do we have? We have a deposit of berries that's immediately shrinking. Uh, we do have some wild animals, which is going to be the main way we survive. Rich iron deposit is nice. And let's see where these bandit camps are. There's one over here. There's two up here. Now, my hope is that the Baron will start sending people to clear these bandit camps. But he will start heading towards us. Okay, our supplies are here. Let's... <laughs> Number of months before supplies run out, zero. So, yeah. We start with two timber. Which means we just create a logging camp immediately. Put it there. And then we're also going to need a hunting camp, which is free, which is nice. I'll put it on this side here. Uh, they need to go and build that immediately because we're dying. That's literally all I can do. Okay, go boys. Hurry, grab the ox. By game crash and you can see who I was basing this off. <laughs> okay, because of the crash, we have to start again. So hopefully we get wild game and, and everything else nearby. Because that was actually a really good start. going to save. Okay, we have wild animals not as close as last time. Oh, this is this is an objectively worse start. Oh boy! Oh, there's three bandit camps running. So it's okay. This is yeah. This is not good. Not as good as the last one. I've somehow taken this challenge and made it even more difficult. But still, I'm not. Well, I'm not one to restart. That's uh, that's just not who I am. New message. The victory condition is is, is domination. So I've got to take out every other lord. Um, uh, might be a mistake, but uh, again, we we don't dwell on these mistakes. We have a hunting camp. Let's grab this lot. Two of them are going to start hunting immediately. <laughs> 365 days. And they're going to be here to attack me. Alright, so some of them are hunting already. That's good. Logging camp. Almost done. Let's right, start to snap. Okay, there's a logging camp. Grab two. Uh, in fact, go through. Don't have any resources. Grab everyone to go and do that. Go fell some trees. Wait. Yeah, we need to fell some trees because we need a firewood. A uh, woodcutter's log. Woodcutter's lodge. As quickly as possible. See how long it takes up guys to starve. They are making food there. Primary request more marked areas for their stall. Dude, I... <laughs> sure, you can have a market area. Where, where am I going to put the market? I'm just to chuck it here and then build my town around the central location. That makes the most sense. Then they don't, then they don't have to walk anywhere. Um, we don't really need a big market, do we? I mean, yeah, this has 35 market locations. Okay, we have some timber now. Let's get some, some heating going. <laughs> put it right over here as well. Alright, so now there's a food stool. Alright, it's right back to this guy. Um, I'm gonna, you know what? There's no point in me threatening someone else. Let's just not do that. <laughs> Alright, we have a food stool. 
but the wild animals are running out and there's no berries. We might have to hunt the wild animals to near extinction uh, and then bank that we can get a, a, a field going. Obviously, we have those raiders as well coming soon. Okay, Woodcutter's Lodge. How many families do we have? Five. Okay. All right, three on that side. Not really giving myself an ex a chance to expand the market here, but frankly, I don't know that I don't know that, that we could do any of this. So I'm just sort of playing it by a uh, the coolest place, London. There you go. This actually ha this is historically accurate how London got started. We have some few food. We don't have any fuel. Okay, we now have a firewood stall. Hopefully, okay. We have two months of food, food, but no fuel. We don't actually consume any fuel either. We just we just exist and we're very cold all the time and. Oh my god, this is actually UK. Okay, we are going to get rid of one of these hunting families now. We have enough. We've secured that. Okay, we have our first house as well. Let's get houses sorted on this side as well. What I'll do is I'll get a road going around the back and, and add this over here. Okay, we actually do have some fuel now. Right, we, we've survived the initial bout. Let's see how well this is going to go down. I, On the bright side, we do have um, a, a good amount of fertility. So hopefully, the ruler's army was sighted. Brigands for hire. Coming in here, hopefully to do with these brigands, maybe? If we're lucky, it'll be the same uh, same lot that are going to come and attack us in a year's time. Oh, Jesus Christ. I've realized where we are. Oh, no. We border him and he's aggressive. He could just wipe me out right now. Oh, but this was such a good start. This is, there's no... Yeah, there's... I mean, he's coming towards me. There's no way he's not. Okay, I think we've hunted all the animals. Okay, I think... Yeah, almost. Okay, church level too low. Not enough variety in the food place. Not enough fuel in the marketplace not enough cloth variety on the food i mean guys i really am just going to be focusing on survival because there's gonna be no uh, the, okay there's gonna be no approval growth until until this is done all these issues are completed but we're not gonna be able to complete all of these issues until we have a higher population so yeah this might be a bit tricky attempt to get a fire like foreign suppliers but we don't have any foreign wealth and i don't really know how we would get it i might go for traps which will give a passive income of meat. Let's do that. Charge level too low. Not enough cloth variety. I mean, we don't really have any, the ability to have any sort of cloth chaps. Yep, they are. They're here. They're in my lands. Um, hopefully they're just passing through. Oh, they might be. Oh, that's terrifying. Hello, chaps. I know you're brigands, but, you know, do me a solid. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> Let's tackle all these things. Not enough fuel in the marketplace. That's something we can, uh, we can sort. Not enough food variety. Nothing I can do with that, so we'll just have to wait until next year. Uh, church level too low, we can sort that out. Not enough cloth variety, I cannot do anything about that. So let's get... A, can we even get a church already? We need planks and stone, which is some stone close by. Somewhat close by. Okay, let's get a stone cutter's camp and a saw pit. Okay, so survive winter and then we'll figure out what the hell to do with this approval. We're on stone cutter duty. This approval is getting real low. Uh, they they really want a church. I mean, I, I I get you guys. Families might start leaving the town. Oh no. Okay. Uh, let's let's grab you guys off of wood cutting and you off of hunting, and instead get another one on stone uh, cut and another one on saw pit. We got it. We got it. We got it. Oh god. No sign families to guide the ox. Uh, we don't need logs right now. Let's let's do that. I don't. This might be an impossible start. You know. Okay. Six stone. We need more planks. Oh, please don't start leaving. They just, they want a church so badly. <laughs> They're determined to, to find wherever they can to, to, to go get one. General storage full. Just generic storage. Uh, why? Okay, that's 10 stone at the stone cutter camp. Sure. You will, oh, let's put together a, a storehouse then. A stone ox are needed for construction. Yeah, okay. We, we can't do that right now because I've assigned them to the saw pit. Okay, how many do we need for a church? The raid is coming in. Our, our guys are like, dude, let's pray. <laughs> Another 20, 20 planks, and we have five. All right, the ox is permanently giving stuff to the saw pit. Oh, they don't care as much about the, the church log being too low. Not as much anymore. Well, they still care a little bit. Come on, 15. One more log will do it. Where's that ox? There you go. Drag it over here. Oh, that's, that's rough. Okay, found left the town. Which one? Okay, it was a saw pit one. Sure. Didn't want him anyway. That's 20. Let's get our church together. I'm just going to chuck it down immediately. Uh, livestock, where are you? No. Okay, and then I'll get more of you to handle this. Go, go, go. Come on, build the church, damn it. Nah, that's another one, God. I think that might be it. Uh, 4%. 1%. 2%. 3%. 4%. 
We're being claimed. 0% approval. This is a rough start, though, to be fair. Okay, so we, we, I mean, we got out of winter, at least, but really didn't go too well, aside from that. So we need more cloth variety. I'm not sure how to get cloth variety that quickly. So the church level, basically, for next time, we need to just get the church in a lot faster. Perhaps even before we get homes, because they care about it more than the homelessness. And the church takes a long time to build. All right, down to three, for, well, one family left, three guys. Finish the church, at least, boys. All this space just for you. And a whole ass church. Oh, they left. The church that I could never build. Base was 114. Right, let's see. if Enemies killed 11, apparently. Take a final look around. I don't know if I want to. The game doesn't want me to either, apparently. Okay, so we go back to the drawing board. I've realized something. Big Dave was too big. He ate all the supplies. So, it's time for his son, Small Dave, to shine. All right, let's try this again. All right, let's see what Small Dave can cook up. All right, this time we have a little bit of leeway. We have a large stone deposit, some iron, or oh, no iron, basically, Christ. Close by. There, we have a bit of distance, which is good. One, two, three bandit camps near us. Okay, so the other two are far away. This is a, this is a good start, I think. Animals are close by. Okay, I think, I don't know, I th we, we definitely need to go for a church, like, immediately. So I think I'm going to pursue that. So get the, get the food done first. Then go for, like, Russia Church. All right, let's do it. Long camp here. We need food. All right, let's crack on with that. Immediate attack. Yeah, absolutely. That sounds good. Okay, hunting camp. Let's grab someone to start hunting immediately. Logging camp. Someone needs to start logging. Actually, everyone needs to start logging. Family's hungry. Dude. <laughs> I know, man. Okay, so we have enough for the stone cutter now. Unfortunately, the stones are really far away, so I think we... We do need to start sort of cracking on with that. Right, there's a stone cutter. Now we need planks and firewood. Okay, marketplace. Just build it here. Doesn't need to be massive. Okay, we've got a food stall. We've got logs coming in. Stone camp is done. Now we're going to need that timber place. Saw pit. I'm ignoring firewood completely for now. Because when we become a small village, it's when people want us to become. Uh, you know, they, they like we start getting malices from... Things like church and lack of cloth and that sort of stuff. Okay, saw pit. Add someone else to that. Okay, so stone cutters, loggers. We'll drop one logging family and go for woodcutters lodge. Okay, marketplace is here, and then we'll get the. Hmm, just think we could do it here, I guess. The uh, the houses. Stone cutters have to go really far for stone. That's uh, a bit of an issue. All right. Okay, that's given us enough of a head start. On that side of things that I feel comfortable building houses, we could try. Maybe I, I waited too long again. I'm just gonna try and build some houses now because that that approval's going down kind of fast. It went up for a second because homelessness is kind of forgivable, apparently. So I kind of want to sit on this approval for a little while. I don't think I want to make everyone not homeless. So I think I'm gonna build four burgage plots to try and get rid of some homelessness. Ah, okay. So I think it's already begun the second act. So we need 10 stone and 20 planks. We don't have enough stone. Damn, the stone being that far away is really rough. Okay, we're in January now. So we're, we're, we are making it bit by bit. Okay, we have 20 planks, so I don't need a sawmill family. They can start building. 10 stone. Just need a bit more stone now. 15 stone? No, we only needed 10 stone. Okay. Right. Church-wise, just chuck it at the end of the road. I think, I think that could be an idea. Let's do that. Uh, okay, we don't need stone cutters anymore. The church is the priority. Let's get that going. Yeah, now not enough cloth. This is where society starts getting complex. Ah, uh, I actually need someone on the saw pit because they need uh, they need to be selling. We got a firewood uh, pit. Come on, boys, please. Why is it taking so long to build the goddamn church? Okay, uh, all hands on deck, I think. Oh, you need to actually stay there. Hunting camp. We have food, so we don't need you. Everyone should be building. Where's the hitching post? We're around here somewhere. It's a sign of family just to do that. Please, build a church. you just stand in there, woman. Get to work. Okay, people are leaving. I think the second someone leaves, I think it is over for us. But keep trying. It's this church. This is a miserable way to get going. Approval's shot up suddenly, though. I'm not sure why. And now it's back down. 
Not enough fuel in the marketplace, not enough cloth. I think there is enough fuel in the marketplace. Nope, no, there's not. I lied. Why are you not putting more fuel in the marketplace? He's hoarding it for himself. Okay, we've almost transported all the goods, which is sort of the thing that takes the longest time. Oh, we have, uh, we only have two families left. Okay, so I think ignoring the burgage plots this long was a mistake because people are dying because of cold. It does take so long. Okay, so what's the, what are the issues here? Not enough fuel variety, cloth variety, and food variety. I don't know if it's possible to play to start this in winter because berries would give variety. So we have a church now. There shouldn't be any homeless people. Or in a second, there won't be anyway. Okay, so we've got no homeless people. But it's cold. People require fuel in the burgage plot to live on, otherwise they'll freeze to death. There's not enough fuel, f food, or clothing. I don't... Mm. The confusing thing to me is that there should be fuel. I'm not sure why there isn't enough fuel. There's loads of it here. Well, our, mm -hmm, our region's being claimed immediately. Okay, we have a positive on the church level now. Not enough fuel, not enough food variety. We're going to have two families left. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's the end of that one, I think. So we've got the church up. And we survive until March. Not enough food variety. Okay, yeah, we can't. There's nothing we can do about that, though. Food store is abandoned. Why has the food store been abandoned? So what are the people doing? Waiting, storage full. Dude, just put it in the... F oh, I'm, I'm annoyed at you. Dude, just just go. What? Put it in there. I I do not like you. Like, there, there is enough. That's the thing. You just don't want to do it. Generic storage is full. They have hides. Do hides count as clothing? No. How do we turn hides into clothing? We need a tannery. Okay. So I'm going to do this again. I, wanna, I need to get a piece of paper or something. Man. Okay. I got my piece of paper. So, okay. So the issues we're having is we need to get a church faster, right? We also don't have any food variety or any... Uh, f well, you don't have any fuel this time or any clothing. Food we can't do anything about. Like, that's that's just... We're, we're there to survive, so we don't make people starve. So that one's out. But the clothing, the fuel, we can do. The church is the problem because it, invests, it takes so many resources. Hmm. So here's what I'm thinking. This time around, we are going to do the exact same thing. <laughs> but uh, I am going to restart until I find a stone deposit that's close by. Because I think that'll help. That's that's the number one thing. We're going to make a hunting camp immediately. And then we're also going to make a tannery immediately. Before we do the church. So then we'll have food, fuel, and clothing. So we'll have firewood, hunting, tannery, and get the birch plots in. So the church we're going to do last out of those things. So get the marketplace, get the marketplace stocked, and then we'll go for the church. So hopefully the malice of... Because I'm trying to do everything at once. The malice of church level being too low will be offset by the fuel and cloth and you know not be having people be homeless okay there's nothing to do about being being claimed all right let's load in and we'll see if we can get ourselves a good stone deposit to start with yeah see i think that unless hmm i would say it's too far away but why don't we just shift everything over there no reason why we should do that right let's give that a shot so if we shift everything we have over here we're gonna it's gonna suck initially uh, let's try it. Uh, let's really get the hitching post over here. But I can't do homeless people's tents. Ah, well. I'll figure it out. No, that's not feasible because of how long it's going to take to transport the initial two timber we have. Okay. Alright, let's try this again. This is the exact same one as last time. <laughs> How's that happen? No, it's in different locations. Alright, but the, the yeah, stone too far away. Well, there goes that. The issue is it takes so long each time to set up the game over and over again. To the point where I'm just like randomizing uh, this. That looks cool. Uh, yeah. Fortunately, it does save my settings. But I do have to make sure I double check them. Because the last thing I want is to somehow succeed, in the, even though I think it's increasingly unlikely I'm going to, and then find out my settings were wrong. This is promising. Hmm. Actually, there's no roads near us. Like, not any. We're just on the side of the middle of nowhere. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, there's no roads. All right. Try again. That might be the furthest the stone's ever been from me. All right. <laughs> Once more into the breach. Oh, perfect. Okay, stone is right next. Li literally as close as we can get. There's no roads, but the stone is here. Okay, we can just make roads, I guess. That, mm, okay. All right, I've made a save because I think this is going to be as good as we're going to get to a starting one. Okay. All right, remarkably straight roads have been built. All right. So, logging camp first. Hunting camp is also going to be that. 
We're gonna prioritize the hunting camp though. Let's go. Alright, let's assign someone to hunt. Okay, on camp. Grab three people on that. Might as well get two on hunting. Just so we can get some resources. Yeah, enjoy just sitting there, chaps. Salmon is hungry. Yeah, well, I'm trying. Let's designate a market area. Okay, I'm gonna put the marketplace here. Do I, I think I'm gonna go for houses immediately, you know? Okay, food stall been made. Okay. Let's get another family on construction now. There's one construction finished. Get two more houses. Let's get that sold first. Okay, one's joined. That is now going to start triggering some other issues we're going to have. Running out of fuel. We've never had any fuel. It's going to start hitting us with a cold modifier soon. Okay, I think we can build uh, the final house. Okay, I want residential. So prime real estate this is going to be. Okay, so now everyone should have a house. Okay, church level too low. Not enough fuel variety. Not enough fuel on the marketplace. Not enough cloth variety. So now we need our tannery. And we're going to need more fuel. Four timber. Okay, where are you going? So we now have four timber. Everyone is no longer homeless. Now we're going to have other issues. Church level too low. Not enough cloth, fuel, and food variety. Okay. Get the tannery over here. We are now going to need our stone cutter camp. We're going to go for a passive income of meat. All right. Wood cutter camp done. Okay. We can actually build a stone cap, uh, cutter uh, thing. Now we'll put that here. Drop one off the logging camp. I'm going to have to chuck in the tannery basically immediately. Okay. We've got 42% now because the month ticked. There we go. Gets one on the tannery. So we don't have any fuel. So why are you... Why? Yeah, okay, right here. I thought he was just standing in the marketplace. He's not. Okay, they are making hides, which is good. Stone cutter camp is done. Now, what I need is the final piece of the puzzle. Is the saw pit. The issue is I don't know that... Unless we do get rid of this guy. I don't know that we'll be able to actually make that stuff. Otherwise, we do it on people, you know, logging. Um, no, I need, I need to keep you there. Ah, oh, this is hard. I actually have a well. Okay, we have a load of clothing now. Good. If I get rid of you, does that get rid of our clothing? It doesn't. Okay, good. Now, uh, he's going to make the saw pit. You're going to go do that. You guys need to collect 10 rocks. So, did that get rid of the clothing? No, we still have 100%. 100% fuel, 100% clothing, 50% food variety. Okay. Saw pit's done. Need unassigned family to get the ox. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's 11. We, we only need 10, right? The church. 20 planks now. Okay. Uh, church level two. Once we get rid of church level too low, we a we're actually going to be in a, in a somewhat of a decent position. The issue is when I think when it drops below 20, we're, we're, we've got problems. Chuck it in there. 15 is going to get buzzed now. 20. Perfect. Okay. Church. Damn, we need to move the hitching post. Yeah, we'll put it. We'll put the church here. So now, no one should be on the saw pit. We've got 100% clothing, so we don't need anyone on the tannery. We don't need anyone. Or do we need someone on the? I don't think we need anyone on the woodcutter's lodge either. We don't need anyone on the hunting camp. That should be everyone. One people cutting down logs. But that's about it. And then let's just get go for the church. Okay, they're putting planks down. If I'd put the church over here, it'd been a lot better. Rivers going up. Looks like we are going to run out of food soon. Okay, I'm going to put one guy on this, and the wild animals are up to 14. So yeah, they're going to go hunt. On build the church, man. Please, that's a whole family we're going to lose to the church. It's a bit rough, all right. Where's the ox? Two more logs and, and then we're good? Come on. Where'd he go? Where's, where'd he go? Go, 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 go. Why'd he come from here to do it? Finish it off. Sweet. Okay. So, not enough fuel. Church is done. Clothing market supply is done. Let's grab someone, actually assign a family to that. Grab a woodcutter. Someone's hunting. Tannery is unnecessary right now. Yeah, okay, we need, we need a fuel guy. Two fuel guys. Oh, okay. That, that to me, puts us in a decent enough place. Yeah, we're, I mean, I just, we just need to get rid of, like, the food stuff. But the berry deposit's there. It's not a very big one. And then, I mean, how else are we going to get food? How do we progress? Okay, well, we need water. So, let's do that. There's the clothing market supply. There's the church level too low. Going, should be going down. And I'll feel the marketplace will fix that soon. Where's the well? Which means I think we need we need two types of food supplied. So we need berries. But yeah, I think we're now in a good enough place. Now, what I want to do is get a farm. And I'll put it right here. It needs to be like one Morgan. We need a farmhouse. And then that, I mean, we have to try and plan long term. 
One thing I'll note as well, the raiders haven't tried to attack me on this one. They are all around us, so this is a very, very fortunate start. We haven't lost any, fa any families here. Good. We have enough fuel. Let's get the farmhouse under construction, then we'll, we'll start doing something. With now, I want to test something. Does there need to be a, someone actually assigned to the church, or can we just, you know, crack on? Should be good. All right, let's get uh, someone assigned to the logging camp again. Now, look at that previous, and so now we should... Shouldn't be going down at all. It says it is, but I think we're good. Recent 30 days, previous 30 days. There's no, there's nothing happening in the last 30 days to make people upset. Okay. That's ideal. Farmhouse is almost done. Then we need to start trying to look at that. It's actually increasing. Then we need to start actually getting people to try and join. What, uh, what are you getting? Fuel. Oof. I only need two people signed to fuel time, so it's kind of rough. Okay, it's March. Which means the berry deposit is actually growing. Sweet. That's that construction finished. Now, let's get this family to start plowing the field. Okay, and there's the berry deposit. So now, let's grab the gathering side of things. All right, there's the berries being made. So I'm going to have to keep cycling people out the second there are issues. <laughs> On the brink of death the entire time, but it's fine. Okay, we have a forager's hut. Let's assign someone to that. Okay, I think we're all good. We hit 50% approval. Which means, I think, that if we do actually expand stuff like for example expand living space let's do that oh that's rough stocks damaged by weather not really what you want to see there's two types of food supplied on the marketplace is that not the case it is for you okay so most people have two types of food okay so now we can technically low population growth will actually get more population here okay ideal this is good stuff all right let's get rid of the hunting camp guys and uh I want to assign you over here to farming a little bit more. We have loads of food and other things, which is nice. So I think it's time we start to try and get more people in. Part of that means moving the hitching post. Three more baggage plots. And the field is currently being sown. Okay, bandits stole some leather and some timber, which is kind of still some firewood. That's fine. I can't really do anything against them. I can't mobilize just yet anyway. Later, for sure. Burgage plot causes a loss of approval. Why? Fuels. You don't have enough fuel? Oh, you don't have enough fuel. Yeah, they never have enough fuel, I swear. All that's going to get fixed after I sort out the, the field. All right, let's drop, the, drop you and put you over into the hunting camp. I've really got to be, like, make heavy use of every single person. All right, I want a storehouse over here. And also a pantry. We need rocks for that, so I have to wait a little bit. Okay, so in progress is done, so let's get everyone out of here. Homelessness? Why is there homelessness? Why is there homelessness? Not enough fuel. Okay, so we need more clothing, more food variety. More clothing. Okay, that's now slowly ticking up. Who's homeless? I'm really confused by that. Okay, we don't need anyone on the tannery anymore. Okay, right, here are the bogey spots. Generic storage full. That's fine. I'm building a storehouse. Okay, so we have nine families that we can accommodate we currently have five so that's you know we're ready to grow oh man oh christ we're being claimed just like i was about to, i was literally about to say the words hey the crops are growing things don't look too bad but here we are okay nothing needs to be built right now so we're gonna set a family to the storehouse and they're gonna start transporting goods where they need to go hopefully we can get a couple more families in here pantry is full Forager, oh, that's fine. Okay, we've loads of food and fuel now. Like tons, good. We've got enough fuel, not like we've got enough clothing. Okay, we can start looking at potentially doing the net getting to the next level. So let's upgrade you to level two and you to level two. I think that should get us there. Lack of entertainment. Mother <laughs> entertainment. I'm trying to I'm trying to make us survive. There's one level of entertainment. We need ale to function bro we don't have this is not barley okay screw entertainment i can't do anything with that like that's that's, that's nothing i need a pantry but for that i need stone so let's get some stone going i'm excited yeah that's fine not enough cloth variety on the on the marketplace church level too low uh, <laughs> where's the clay dude <laughs> oh my god these people are insatiable so what do you need that's not being fulfilled let me build the place first, then you can tell me. 
Okay, what's being fulfilled? Tavern supply. Mother... I think I did this too early. I think I, think I messed up. I think I really, really messed up. Because these guys need clothing and a second church and taverns. Hmm. But they will give me wealth, regional wealth, which I can use to, like, put things in the back garden this place is, which is why I did this, but I'm not feeling too comfortable with it now because the lack of entertainment is really kind of screwing me over. There's nothing I can do with that until next year. Okay, system level increased. Doubles the amount of meat harvested by hunters and butchers from goat pens. Or hunters also collect hides from traps. I'm going to double the amount of meat. I think it's a good idea. If I had a little bit more wealth, I could get someone to produce. But it would lock them out from doing anything else, which is bad. Oh, we have six level one families now. So we actually have we have, we have more families. Okay, so. Stone cutters are a thing. I mean, I could start trying to make my way to the second level of a church. For that, I need stone and clay. I mean, no shot I can get clay going, is there? I could try. Oh, man. I mean, I'm going to have to. We were growing. That's the thing. Like, I shouldn't have done what I did. What do you mean wild animals have migrated? Towards me? Okay, they're just there. That's good. It takes so long to get that mining pit up and running. So the storage guy is selling all this good. Drop them off of that. Okay, construction finish on the mining pit. Let's get someone going on there. This is a rich vein. Okay, and you're going to convert clay to clay tiles. Give that a go. I already made a pantry, man. So what is this road? Crops are 24% grown. That should help our food. But again, the lack of entertainment is kind of killing us. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Can I downgrade you? I could demolish it. I think I'm going to do it. I got rid of them. So we have six level one families. And they're no longer going to start complaining about lack of entertainment. Because they don't care anymore because they're poor. Uh, yeah, that works. Because they were complaining about cloth variety. Now everything's everything's fixed. Yeah, look, that's great. Now people are actually, we can actually improve. New family start moving in immediately. So let's get those burgage plots back and start trying to get families in. Okay, so don't advance level until we're absolutely ready. I think what I need to do is, I, I can't tell obviously, but later on I need to, if I'm going to upgrade something, I need to get up to that level first. I can't let the demands precede me because otherwise they just immediately start collapsing this place. Okay, so we're at a pivotal moment. Uh, so I, I decided to take a couple of moments to go and get myself a hot beverage and think about what to do next. Because here's another issue. It says bug spot level two under construction. I'm gonna go ahead and destroy these because that's weird to me. I wanna see if, if like that's an actual thing that's gonna happen every time now because that's gonna be a huge issue if so. So let's build another one, like like another two here instead. Level one undergoing construction. Okay, so it might have been just because it was that location. Okay. All the brands being claimed. I'm not, yeah. That's nothing I can do about that. It's not me, to be clear. Where's Weow? But he is next to me, so he's probably coming for me next. Okay, 91 days when we go for that. How's this getting on? Wait, where's my clay deposit? Oh god, I didn't save. Okay. Alright, well that was the next play, wasn't it? Use barley to produce malt. We need a level two. The issue is we need level two to get the back uh, door brewery kind of thing. So the way that it works is that we need barley. So next year, for example, we can get barley. No worries. We switch this out to barley. Cool. Or we get another field. Then uh, we need one of these level two places that we'd create to have a, a brewery extension. We need wealth for that. We don't have any. And they'll produce ale from malt. But then, obviously, by virtue of being a level 2 one, they'll want, you know, booze. Okay, so that's... I can't I can't do anything about him claiming this. He's probably going to come for me next. Because I set the AI to uh, aggressive, so... It's not like we have that much time. Okay, a bit of stone before we can get ourselves a, uh, a camp for this. Go okay, six families. Well, that was migrated. A little bit further away, that's fine. I'm unassigning that family from there. Get doing something else like building these things. Six berries have started been Nick, that's fine. How's the marketplace doing? Fuel. We have no food variety at all. We actually have barely enough, barely enough to uh to accommodate anything that's been going on. Okay. It's fine. Some storehouse. Wooden hide and leather. I'm gonna sign you. So they're gonna go and run stuff along. Okay, so I don't need you. Cool. That should help with things. I believe we're starting to create the mining pit. A granary as well. Put it over here. And that's exactly why we needed stocks to not be damaged by weather. 
How long we got? 62 days. Due, so about August we need to, or September, sorry, we need to get these done. Okay, we have more families coming in. Cool. Lots more families. Excellent. All right, let's do a bit of forward planning here. We have a lot of, of, of things, right? But we need to get to the next level. The next level being crops and that sort of stuff. And obviously military things. So we, we're going to need a barley field next year. So we'll, we'll build it in the winter. We don't need all hands on deck uh, foraging and uh, getting food. Um, iron deposit is not exactly that much there. Clay deposits. So we'll get these, these new families doing the clay uh, and that sort of stuff, I think. We've got three unassigned families to come and help build. We've run out of meat. So you don't have... Okay, you do have fuel source uh, store supply. Okay. Clay furnace mining pit under construction. Stone cutter camp are just collecting stone. You're done. I'll add you to the granary. So no one lives in these two, right? Yeah. It's going to take a long time to convert all these goods over there. We actually have decent approval now. Again, now we just have to contend with the uh, constant raiding of bandits and also, unfortunately, Walderbrand. I've never successfully claimed a region in normal game and I've decided to do this. Oh, God. All right, well, the drink. It's not drink. Hmm. Ah, oh, I'll do it. My mind is now stable. We have high population growth because we have massive uh, approval. Nope, it just dropped. <laughs> okay, new family moved in. Perfect. The construction's been finished. And another... Okay, family member joined the settings. So they're going to start mining now. Perfect. 28 days. Come on, crops. Get growing. We also need um, the windmill and stuff. A communal oven. Put the windmill there. Communal oven on the other side of the windmill. Okay, let's get a family doing that now. So we've got some guys mining. Some guys getting clay stuff. Got family in the storehouse. The marketplace is fulfilling all needs. The berries are almost gone. That's fine. They were going to go down anyway. So it, it, it all depends on this now. Okay, 11 is done. Now we just need the windmill to get done. Alright, we're getting clay tiles. So we can upgrade the church soon. Okay, this is this is going well. We've got high population growth, so we should get another family in soon. We're lacking. We've got a lot of timber. We've got a lot of stone. So we don't need any stone cuts. I think we don't have any more. Yeah, September. Start bringing in the wheat. Your family moved in. Perfect. Let's get them harvesting. Okay, that is all of the burgage plots secured. We have food, so I kind of want to build another burgage plot. All right, how are we doing on the clay furnace side of things? We're about to grab one more, and then we can build the... Oh, that's rough. Oh, <laughs> there's a stock damage by weather in the field. A lot of our yield has just gone. So once you get to 10, you're done. Okay, we don't need you anymore. Okay, and we don't need you anymore. You lot can be used to construct. Grab someone in the windmill, someone in the communal oven. Next year, we want barley. I'll make another field. This is all well and good, but we do need to start thinking about, like, the military. So you've made the grain now, so we can drop you. Drop you. So grade, uh, grade, uh, grade the, the, to a small stone church. If you'll happen, I can't, I, I'm so focused, I can't speak. All right, high population growth. Let's hopefully get some more families in. Let's see how we go from there. Okay, so we are making bread. And let's get someone assigned to the hitching post. Wherever I put it, I think it's over here somewhere. Where's the hitching post? That's the well. There we go, hitching post. Okay, so we need a couple more logs, and then we've got our small stone church. The ale house, and for that... Yeah, okay, so alehouse will have to go in the middle of everywhere. Like here would work. Unfortunately, there are supplies here. I don't know what supplies there are, but it's, it's kind of bugged. It's taunting me, because that'll be the perfect location for our alehouse. Okay, that's fine. We'll put it, uh, like, over... Where am I going to put more lots of things? Okay, if we try and make this, like, a housing section, then the alehouse could go, like, here. Put the alehouse over here, maybe. Or I'll make the roads now, so I don't forget. There you go, that'll do. Nice little winding roads. So then we can have burgage plots around the back and an alehouse over here. I think I need is a manor. 20 planks for that. Alright, let's get some planks going. There's the saw pit. It's kind of rough on food variety. I'm not going to lie. Anytime that happens, check someone else on the hunting camp. These wild animals have honestly been such a game changer. Yeah, once we get entertainment done, they're all good. So we have a new church. Good. Alright, so food. We've got 13 months of food, 10 months of fuel. I'm not happy with that amount of fuel, so I'm going to get some more. Constructing anything? I don't think so. We just have an idle family. We don't need this, we don't need that. Administration-wise, build it. 
Okay, where would we put the mana? I mean, let's put it here. It's close by. I can change it later if I need to. Another firewood stall, another food stall. Okay. High population growth, so we can get two more, three more families coming in. But this will be a, a wheat uh, thing. Field. We have barley that will sort that out. Uh, okay, I'm just, I'm nervous because we need as many higher uh, standard people as possible so we can start growing our population because soon he's going to come for us. And we're going to need a military when that happens. Or at least when these ban when these brigands and bandits and that sort of thing turn up. These areas aren't great for barley. This is going to be a wheat field. It's going to be quite large, so we, we, we're going to have to have all hands on deck when that happens. Okay, let's try and go for the trader. When does he come in? He comes in here, and then he can come up here. I think along this big road could work. Oh, it's a trading post. Yeah, we'll put him here, where no one else is going to be. And a general trading post as well. I'll see if I can get that to work. There's a weaver's workshop, which could be good. Flax to produce linen. Maybe we should get another field that's smaller, just to produce flax. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. I don't know if we'll end up using it, but it's probably better to have it and then not need it, right? Flax fertility. I'll chuck it at the back here. It's a little one. Still not enough fuel on the marketplace, apparently. Grab another woodcutter. Check them on there. The ones aren't really so pressing. Uh, there's not that much iron either. Okay. Three hard months now. All right. Is there anything we could sell? So we can sell up for money, and then we can trade in for, like, sheep for pastures and stuff, which actually... Do we need flax, then? For linen if we can get wool i mean let's let's set up a pasture all right set up a pasture we'll go from there what do i have that could i could sell i could sell i kind of want to sell like clay okay this is weird i have so much firewood okay the firewood this because the firewood's going over here so we don't actually need more wood cutters i need another storehouse guy to set up a firewood stall because we have 150 but people aren't getting it onto the car onto the marketplace there you go same thing with the granary I need to build more burgage plots as well. For three more. Bandit camp was sighted. Oh, God. All right, it's about to be a real hard winter. But then next summer. So next summer is going to be big. It's going to be huge. It's going to be massive. It'll be the largest summer on Earth. We have bread and berries. They don't exactly have that much meat. And then these guys over here don't have access to anything. Clothing. We don't have enough leather. Let's go to the tannery then. Okay, here we go. It's December. Oh, meat being stolen by bandits is bad. That's our entire food variety gone. Girlfriend is yelled at from the back, eat the bandits. That's not... I don't know if that's a feature in this game, and I don't know if I want it to be. Okay, trading post has been done. The issue is we need wealth to be able to create a trade route. Well, not if there are only minor trades. I mean, the roof tiles are unfortunately a major one. We could probably sell stone. Well, there's not much stone out here. Okay, let's not still sell stone. We need to probably import stone. There's just nothing that I can really afford to sell. Planks, maybe? We can sell planks. Export planks. Let's do that. And just get some guys on a saw pit. Because, I mean, logs are a resource that we can just sort of get. And you're disconnected from the major trade routes. How? There you go, that's fixed it. If I say I want a surplus of 10 tanks. Tanks. Planks. Why are you unassigned? What happened to you? Drop one of you guys. We are running out of, like, materials. Found moved in, perfect. That means we have someone left over. Uh, okay, let's get rid of you two. Uh, and let's chuck someone there. Okay. In the meantime, how much stone do we have? 12. Kind of want to get more stone. Definitely need another rocks. And let's get someone on the church. I don't know what that does. Stocking goods for sale, good. Okay, otherwise everything seems okay. We've got enough space for two more families to join. I think we've got families doing nothing. Look, we've got 14 families. Oh, there we go, 14. It said a little bit differently earlier. I swear, I'm not going crazy. Okay, I might have misread it. No. All right, we're going to pop a tavern down here. Got another family. Cool. Okay. This is going to be good. Not running out of food, are we? No, I think we mostly got a decent amount of food variety and fuels, like the big one. Mostly these guys that never have fuel. Okay, cool. 42. Nice. So we sold our planks, right? Okay, awesome. Here's what I want to do now. I want to import livestock. So let's uh, let's see. So this pasture, we've got 29 available. I wanna I wanna grab some wool. Dude, what's the difference between sheep and lambs? Let's import one lamb. So like suddenly it went unassigned families needed for this. Okay, so where are people assigned that they don't need to be? How many planks do we have? 
Not that many. The stonecutter guys can stop stonecutting now. There are two guys at the storehouse, but they're the ones selling everything. Okay, another family moved in. What I'm also going to do, I think... Right now, the saw pit isn't doing anything. So I'm going to permanently assign a livestock thing to them. Because uh, I think the ox is being used elsewhere. So what we're going to need to do is... Where's that hitching post? I'm going to order another ox. First, let's do this. Wait, the stable space. Okay, we've got a tavern. There we go, small stable. We don't have enough wealth to order a... That must mean we've got ourselves a lamb, right? One lamb. Madalena. Hey, uh, what's a good name for, for a sheep? Bo Peep. You want to call it Bo Peep? Okay, Bo Peep. Wasn't little Bo Peep the... She was the shepherd, though, so that makes no sense. But, okay. Well, there goes all our money. Gotta wait for the... For us to be able to sell some more here. Not sure what these guys do. They're going home and waiting a lot, but they're actually making too much. Okay, do I want more bow plots? I don't... I think I probably should get them. But as of right now, some areas aren't getting what they need. Uh, people are just a resource that we need, so let's let's just do it. Let's make sure they have back garden extensions. <laughs> Four plots. Let's make sure I have a surplus of at least uh, 20, maybe. Yeah, we definitely need another ox, like, soon. Okay, it's March. When can I do this? Are they going to go... Okay, they're going to plow by, plow by hand. Okay. Uh, we don't need a livestock trade right now. We do need a trade goods guy. Don't need a churchman. Don't need a tannery. All right, it's all hands on deck. Now, what field do I want to do first? I think the barley. And we'll do the flax low. Last, I think. Let's see how much we can get done. Right, let's get rid of the two saw pit guys because they're not doing anything anyway. Add them to the farmhouse. Shout out to the logging camp guys. Who are you? Let's see... Mate, Peter, Hans, and Margaret, they've been they've been so solid the entire time. Okay, I've got a new family moving in. Good. Okay, those are the burger plots done. A little bit concerned about the food. That's okay. I don't think we're constructing anything. Uh, so I'm tempted to do this. I'd love a plowing station, but I, I don't have that tech unlocked. We added okay, we added some money now. Okay. So let's order another ox. Some of the bread from last year, apparently. It keeps quite well. I'm nervous I started late for this. You found start moving in? Perfect. Send him to the farm. Okay, we don't have enough people to send him to the farm. All right, let's send him to the foraging hut. Okay, there's more money has just come in. Love that vermin branch, but it's not happening just yet. Okay, so I need to prep some things. So weaver workshop is the next sort of step, I think. We're going to have food for three months. That's bad. Okay, this field should be done very quickly, though. Now I have money to construct backyard extensions as well. So I'm going to start with... Oh, I'd love to do a chicken coop, but I... Alright, I'm doing one now. Chicken coop. Grass megs. And let's drop this farmhouse by one so someone can go construct some things. Alright, progress has all been sowed. So let's drop everyone down so suddenly we have a load of people. Berries are a big source of food for us, unfortunately. Okay, what else do I get them to do? I mean, I guess go to the saw pit. And I'm going to attach permanent livestock to that. I want to get some more people mining. Someone in the clay furnace. What, 139 days. I feel like it took us like two two months or so, but I, I feel like we were in a good, we're in a good place for the food production side of things, and we better be because you know we'll, we'll die soon. So let's get some more woodcutters. I think another family start moving in. Okay, now we can start specialising a bit. I think but only once the barley's come in. So clay roof tiles are being built and stored. I imagine. So do we want to trade in those? We need money to do that. But then we could sell them for eight apiece. And that is a rich deposit over there. That could be a good source of money for us. Yeah, we're going to have to do that. I'd love to do this iron stuff, but frankly, I don't even know that we should. Why don't I do barley first, man? I should have done... I should have... I should not have done barley first. Get someone in the tannery going. I think I want to set up another hitching post. Like, over here. Then we can get an ox sent to that as well. Family start moving in. Okay, we are very much ready for... The next step. Okay, livestock, trade. Take like another sheep. What do we want to save up for roofing tiles? I want to get a forester's hut. And then assign a family to that. We'll start replanting with the trees we've been doing. We have the planks. Church is fine. Marketplace is fine. I'm just going through everything to make sure I'm, like there's nothing I'm missing. Yeah, okay. Everything's just waiting on this barley. So 116 days and we'll start making ale. Maybe it's best to get another farmhouse. 
Because then I can assign more people to it. I am going to do that. Ha, huh, hang on. I don't... I think I just put them in the pasture. I didn't actually create a sheep farm. Okay, let's pop it here. Let's get a bunch more burgage plots. Yeah, we're selling a bunch of planks now. This lot are always working. Well, they're not right now. Because they don't have enough logs. Can we get that second kitchen post? Yeah, okay. Let's uh, let's get other rocks. So we've assigned someone to the sheep farm. Are they going to take it from the local pasture? Is that... Let's see. Run off into the field. Ah, so he's collecting wool. Wool. Okay, cool. And then that wool's going to be trans like transformed into clothes, right? Sweet. Okay, I want three sheep. You should be able to afford that. Uh, and then I want the logging camp guys to have their own livestock. Let's upgrade the hitching post. Small stable. And we'll order another ox when we get a chance. Okay. This is big development. What, what do you have an issue with? Fuel. I'm trying to start moving some of these places out of the central area. So the weaver workshop has been... But like... Is next to this thing. Cool. So we can actually get people to work on that as well. Resource stolen by the bandits. Is that 30 berries or 3? Because one of those is a big issue. One of the, okay, good. 3 berries is fine. That's just charity work. This is 15 firewood. I think... Do we just need more stalls or something? Because like we have a load of firewood and storage, I think. Yeah, we've got tons of it. 8 days. 27%. 32%. What about this flax? Flax is gone. Right, let's get a weaver going. Okay, family. Perfect. That'll be the construction grunts. This is noticeably harder than the uh, than the standard game. I will say that. Like, it's a lot harder. Actually, some eggs here now. Okay, cool. So, I haven't uh, received any sheep. Kind of sucks. Kind of sign families needed. Yeah, everyone's been assigned. All right, let's uh, let's take one of these foragers. We don't need that many. All right, two months left until we grab ourselves the barley. That's a new family. So, let's see, barley is going to made, get made into malt over here, right? I need a malt house for that. Okay. So 23 and 23 families. Okay, let's start expanding living spaces and that sort of stuff. I need more people for all these specialized jobs that are about to happen though. That's the concern. I need to move things like Woodcutter's Lodge to like a little bit further out. Because that's going to be our residential area. Really bad at city planning. This is the issue. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put roads around here and then I can build off them. It makes sense to me that the Woodcutter's Lodge and the... Logging camp needs to be moved over here. Create some space. Crop growth has been decent, which is good. It looks like the weavers thing has actually started to create clothes. Yarn. Okay, so now... If I look at a backyard extension. Production of clothes, cloaks, and gambesons. I don't know... The issue is, I don't know, because I can't remember... What... What is contributed in these areas. Like, what, what helps it? Like, what, what, what the inputs are. I mean, we'll take it one by one. We'll go... Might be a waste, but we'll, um, if we have to, we'll get rid of things. Like, if we build it and it's wrong, we'll get rid of it. Food still damaged by weather. Yeah, we've got a load of exposed supplies, which is not very fun. Full house has been finished. Nice. Run out of food variety. Because we've run out of bread. Because we're running out of food. There are no berries. Okay. Fortunately, we don't have too, too long before fields will, uh, come into their own. So now I'm going to do one final thing of residential. Two more two more families I think in the meantime. Okay, 35 days. I think now it's time to upgrade two of these to level two. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Alright, the last time I did this it was absolute disaster. Hopefully we're a little bit better off this time. 31 days. New family, that's good. Okay, I want three of these. I want a baker ideally. A lot of these guys aren't having their needs met. Uh-oh. I got lucky with two of them. The food variety side of things. Okay. There's a tailor here. And the brewery thing. So let's get a tailor. We have to use a communal oven. There we go. It's just 11. Uh, <laughs> increased. Uh, I think what I want to do now is grab heavy plow. As much as I love the sheep grazing to multiply, I think this is going to be big for next season. So let's do that. We need far three more birch plots level two, which again, I think I can do now. The church level like, is supplying it. It's just we need the food supplies to be increased, which will happen when we get bread, basically. Okay, so that's the tailor. He needs, he needs what? Dyes for clothes and linen. Dyes we can get from berries, which um, isn't going to happen for a little while. So this guy was a mistake. We need to wait, we need to wait until the new year. Actually, no, we can import berries, I guess. Let's see. Crops, food, 
berries. We have a load of berries. I'm just hesitant to use my food supply for, you know, this stuff. But we'll, um, screw it. Let's, let's give it a go. So we need a dyer's workshop. Put it over here. And then the back garden here is going to be brewery extension. We don't have bakeries anyway, so brewery extension. Get that cracking. Should not have that much timber. And aside, family needs construction work. Yeah, we don't actually have the families required. Oh boy. We don't need two forages. There are no berries. Actually, we don't need any forages. There are no berries. Okay, the brewery is done. Tavern supply needs to happen in clothing. You need shoes, clothes, and cloaks. So we do need this going. Otherwise, people are going to start getting pissy. How long do we have? 12 days or 21 days. Okay. Add a planning station. That is actually going to be a priority. That will fix, hopefully, the lack of entertainment. Again, this could all go terribly, terribly wrong. Once once we run out of ale, it's, it's kind of all over for us. Dyer's workshop. Let's get the tailor to produce clothes, which needs linen and dyes. Upgrade you to level 2. Let's do that immediately. And let's upgrade you to level 2. Which means we're going to need more level 1 guys to take over what they... Uh, they were doing. We don't have a timber for the construction. Oh my god. Four oxen are on a sign. So let's assign an ox over here. We have only one sheep. And let's assign an ox and oh, threshing priority. So what that means. Okay, in ten days we need to assign. Oh, you screw it. We'll do it now, just so I don't forget. It's gonna slow down the logistics of the place, but that's fine. So you're making dyes. We've got a sheep farmer who's just collects wool, I guess. Not enough cloth variety in the marketplace. That's what I'm trying to fix, man. That's what I'm trying to fix. Food variety is also bad. Again, bread is going to come soon. At least fuel's fine. All right. These things are going to be... I, yeah, let's do it from outside, I think. Although I kind of want to put things here. This could be another marketplace. So I don't really want to... We'll, we'll, we'll do some stuff over here. We can afford two. So let's do two. This will be about two. There you go. Six days. Oh, there's no one attached to the livestock trader. That's why we don't have any livestock. Okay. Let's unassign everyone that is unnecessary in preparation for what we're about to do. Because I want to get these bogus spots done. I want to get... Okay, we've got the dyes workshop done as well, but we're going to need to bring in a lot of things now. I think we'll order another ox. I don't know what a horse does. I'll place one for another ox. Uh, lightning. It's fun. Okay. Construction's about to be complete. Next bogus plot. I only have five level two families. Where are they? Ah, here we go. Level two. Right. Brewery. Taylor Cobbler. Uh, we can afford a cobbler now. Uh, vegetables, I guess. One more eggs. Okay, I'll do all that after we finished doing these crops, I think. Let's get all the constructions done first. Alright. One, two, three. All hands on deck for this, I think. Get rid of you two. You're done. Granary and storage, guys, are sort of always good to keep around, I think. Drop one of you. Drop one of you. It's five. I think that's good. We have livestock ready. Let's go. Excellent. Okay, and the construction finished with the cobbler shop. So what do you need to, to do what you do? <laughs> do not know. Where'd I put the malt house? <laughs> Granary. Where'd I, where did I put it? Where did I put it? Where did I put it? I, I, I know I put it somewhere. Farmhouse, windmill, weaver, sheep farm, trading post, livestock trading post. Do I not have one? I, I swear I put one down. There we go, malt house. Let's chuck someone in the malt house. Let's drop the trader for now. Drop the sheep farm as well. Run, lads! To the fields! Wait, what the hell? Uh, what happened to the... We... We miss our opportunity or something? We don't have any food. Where's my wheat? Oh, it's already stored. Oh, man! Oh, I was very, very concerned. I was very concerned there. So you're turning flax into things. Good. Malt house should be working. Alright, we can unassign this livestock. Oh, it's plowing. Okay, we carry on then, Fritz. Let's get someone here so we can import livestock. We have six guys. You're weaving. Let's get loving going. Uh, actually, we could. Is there a level two one we could do around here? Oh, backyard extension. Here we go. Again, I keep on trying to click on this bakery thing, but it's not. It's not happening. Um, the cobbler is doing things. He's peddling. Sure. Here's a production of tools, spears, and sidearms. Well, we don't have any metal just yet, so maybe not. Alright, let's get ourselves a vegetable garden. Uh, not a vegetable garden, chicken coop. Oops. So what's wrong with the marketplace right now? It doesn't have enough fuel, it doesn't have enough food variety. Okay, food variety is going to get done soon. Alright, cool, and let's assign people back to where they were. Uh, forest and forage is not useful. There's the game guy. Hunting Cappy's already got one. 
Granary guy's already there. Let's get someone of the dye workshop. Uh, okay, I think we've assigned someone everywhere. Feels weird that I should be like making more burgage plots, given that I'm uh, I'd like I'm not supplying everyone with this marketplace. But I think it's a good gamble. Berries coming up, meats occasionally there, and we've got flowers. Okay, so we're about to get a higher population growth, hopefully. Okay, we don't need you anymore. I think we're running out of fuel soon. Apparently, uh, let's let's get you. Yeah, let's get you another another person. Um. The issue is specializing. We don't have enough people for half these things. Uh, I'm going to unassign you and chuck you on wood cutting. Or firewood. Found us up moving in. Good. So you are making malt. Right, let's check someone in the tavern then. Yeah, okay. You're making ale. Good. Alright, so that was a, a successful gambit. The weaver is making linen. Which should be turned into clothes. So he's making a lot, we're making a lot of shoes. Not so many clothes. Need more linen. That's fine. You guys aren't getting anything. I'm going to ex extend out this thing. So let's move the hunting camp away. We'll move it closer over here. We have two months of fuel, but we have so much firewood stored all the time. All right, let's add to the marketplace and put it over here. Can change you up to wheat next year. You'll find on flax. Switch you up to barley, maybe. Because it's going to be pre-plowed. <laughs> it might sound stupid, but I didn't realize you could, realize you could plow. Are you sowing it again? I don't know that you should do that. But you can, I guess. Okay, I'm concerned about the fuel situation. I really am. So let's start dropping people off of things. Okay. We don't need you right now. Do you need a woodcutter? I should get two of these. It's about to get rather cold. That's another family. Let's put them on the game place. Where are you? I think I put you really far out of the way. Hunter camp. Yep. Check you down. Okay, so things are being produce which is good i'm just yeah the food situation is not great neither is fuel the fuel's really bad so is the, so is the food so is everything yeah i've just realized i've got loads of guys over here in the mining pits and stuff but they, they don't really need to be here so let's chuck them on on wood cutting as well okay so we need one more burgage plot level two or higher which is again painful in terms of the base production of things so hmm Clothes just aren't being produced. We've got loads of shoes, if that helps. We could sell... How many planks do we have? None. That'll be why we're not selling anything. But we, if we get 48, we could sell roof tiles. Which I think is going to be our next, like, sort of big thing. Storage is full. Oh, we don't have a saw pit. Right, it's December. Things are about to double. <sighs> Another firewood store. So we've got two months of fuel, three months of food left. So there's a lack of entertainment. Do we run out of... I think, yeah, we ran out of uh, alcohol. We ran out of barley. Yeah, we did. Okay. So when we have enough, we're going to get some tides. Or actually, we might start going after some bandit camp. They're a little bit far away, though. Like, they're very far away. Because that's, like, an easy way to get money and things. So. But right now, I really can't spare anyone. Resources stolen. Clothing. All people have turned up. Okay, so we don't need anyone in the farmhouse. He, he did plant... A uh, field of wheat for the next time. So that's actually really, really useful. I've just been like madly planting in March. Uh, so that, that's great. So let's, um, like, let's just get ever, get rid of everyone doing that. Okay. Saw pit is going well. Timber we've got. Stone we've got. Room tiles, sure. Okay. Fuel is still not great. Let's grab someone else to do this stuff. Our st generic storage is full. That's not good. Build another storage unit. We have enough to make another family specialize. So I think I'm going to upgrade them to level 2. Because they are also going to start generating wealth. Slowly but surely. There's 30. Okay, so... I don't know what a horse does. <laughs> That's what scares me. We 48 to set up this trade route. You're saying that you don't have food and fuel. These bastards over here have like... Eggs, meat, bread and berries. Whereas these guys can't get hold of anything. <laughs> Damn, fuel doesn't really work. <laughs> Oh, settlement level increased. Perfect. Now, I think I'm going to go for... Oh, we're going to do this. Use a fallow field as pasture or bakery extension on a house. Could go for passive income on, on for trade and stuff. Or, alternatively, I'm tempted to go for sheep breeding, breeding which gives us sheep grazing the, on the fields for slowly multiply. So we could sell sheep. Or establishing a new trade route also always costs... A, oh, these are hard decisions. Always costs 25 regional wealth. 
This will remove all import prices, which could potentially allow us to specialize a little bit, especially for importing, like... We're going to need to import iron, I think, because we just don't have that much iron. And we could turn that into weapons and maybe sell it. Okay, I'm going to go heavy into the trading game, uh, even though I think that this could potentially be a bad idea. We're going to go this. Trade logistics. It's only going to cost us 25, so now we are going to go over here. Trade. Establish new trading route. Establish it. And we're going to export roofing tiles. Desired surplus. We only ever need 10 of these, I think. And we've got loads of clay. So, yeah, we're going to do that. And then hopefully we can import anything we need. Let's get a weaver back in back in action. So, malt house. We don't need to go on a malt house anymore because we don't have any barley left. We don't need anyone in the tavern. Okay, that's good. Loads of dyes. Loads of clothing. Not many food variety. Not much firewood. Okay. Do we just get more firewood? I mean, we could... It feels like we have a lot. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna definitely need to import iron, and then we turn that into. Uh, we can import iron ore and then put into make them into everything else. Let's see. So if I were to go for like industry, we able to do that construction, crops, food, materials, iron ore only cost it costs thirteen to import per one. So might as well import iron slabs directly, because that's only fourteen. It's very expensive. How much is it just to import the the like arms and stuff? I mean, it's cheaper. So we don't really need an iron industry. We can just import everything we need. If we if we sell our, basically our clays and stuff, I just need to make sure that doesn't run out because that'll be the money print. So we can upgrade that to a deep mine, which means that we will never run out of clay. Ooh. Charcoal kilns convert one firewood into two charcoal, making refueling twice as it's quite good. And deep mining. So we need to do those two, really. So now the next set level we need... Two level twos and two level threes. God. We need gold for that. Okay. So we're nowhere near that. So I might have messed up. <laughs> I feel like it was worth it. But getting this one was a mistake. Then I could have been somewhat down the way of this. But yeah. Don't need a live strop trading guy anymore. Because we have everything we need. Okay, let's just grab some more logs. Uh, we've got three guys who aren't doing anything. I want to check them on the farmhouse. Then we just got to hold out until... We get back our food, I think. Which is making me nervous. <laughs> Let's get Forrester's hut back. Forrester's hut will grow herbs. Oh my god, the amount of money we have. Is that from selling? I think that's from selling uh, roof tiles. Okay, right. That's that's huge. Okay, that's great. Okay, we only have enough food for two more months. Um, Could import some some food here. Run out of berries, basically. Yeah, let's import some 10 bread. A lot of our wealth gone, but honestly, I think... It's worth it just to make sure we stay alive. Okay, we put six bread. That's food for three months. Yeah, okay, good. Let's get rid of this forester's hut. And I think we could drop another one off of wood cutting. And then assign them to the mines. Because that's where all of our wealth is coming from. We need to start thinking about level three. For that, we need a tavern supply. So next, we can actually probably do on Like next, like, cycle. And we're going to get another field going as well that is going to be wheat. We run out of roofing tiles. Two months of food left. We rely so much on these berries. I think I've, the food variety is... Yeah, it's, it's a good amount of eggs now. Someone's got clothes and stuff, though. That's nice. All right, let's get some eggs from you and some eggs from you. We get more eggs as well. Uh, eggs over there. Okay, they stole firewood, flax, and that sort of stuff. I was concerned for a second that they were stolen food, which would have killed us. Okay, we just got to hold on until March. Wait, we've got loads of things in the granary. What, what's happening to the green oven? Like, we have flour here. Yeah, food still, that, that should increase our food a lot. All right, I'm going to stop importing food now. It's going to reduce all input prices by 10. Which would be pretty useful for us. Okay, right. It's time for us to, to sow the fields. So let's do the annual... I suppose it's not really annual, but... Well, it actually is annual. Yeah, no, it is annual. Annual purge of everyone. Five. I think we can do one more. Farmhouse. Bang, 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 bang. We need someone trading. Don't need a sheep farmer right now. Well, we need a sheep farmer more than a weaver. Berries. Excellent. Let's uh, drop one of these woodcutters then. And now, and chuck them on berries. I'm not Forester. Forager. Dude, look at that ox. I think his name's Fritz, right? Plowing a field on his own. What a legend. So we're going to get a good yield from this uh, from this field. Then we'll see what happens with the rest of them. So we have tavern supply. We can upgrade a couple of these things to level three. 
It's actually a really satisfying noise. Okay, so that's one done. There's the barley field. Okay, we got a load of money. What do we do with it? <laughs> what do we do with all this money? Okay, food's coming in. Let's see. I think we do upgrade stuff. Backyard extension into things. All right, let's backyard extension like eggs. Because eggs are just good. Right, let's drop the trading post guy for now. And he can go construct stuff. And we'll upgrade these guys to level two. Not liking how long it's taken to do everything. Particularly the barley. Just moving all my industry out so I can add some more uh, burger plots around here. I think it's going to be a good idea. Okay, I think all this is just growing now. Let's see. All right, so I've got a bunch of these to level two. We were lucky with the fertility in this area, man. Especially with wheat. This will come in, we give them entertainment, and then we go up to level three. That's the plan. All bandit camps. I mean, it's, it's, it is constant, to be honest. Another bandit camp. All right. Okay, we're going to go for a 5% tithe. I'm going to sign someone on the church. And so hopefully start getting some influence. We can start claiming some sections. Uh, let's get a weaver going. Okay, we don't need guys on the clean 11 or the windmill anymore. So these three can be upgraded to hit the next, the uh, the small town one. Because we're a large village at the moment. What I want to do as well. Yeah, lack of intent is really hurting. Uh, I want to... I mean, we can import weapons, I guess. And that's like the, the next thing we'll be trying to do. Not anywhere near. Once this hits like 2k, okay, we're... Yeah, we're good. I'm gonna actually assign more families to doing this. To like, to mining. Oh, they stole my food. And it stole everything. Oh, that's rough. Oh, that really hurts. <laughs> so you guys don't have what? Fuel stalls. Yeah, this is something that always confused me. Because we have we have more than enough fuel. Where did you put it here? We do have more than enough fuel. Yeah, we're slowly getting influence now because of the tithe. That's a big hit from lack of entertainment. Because now all these guys that have upgraded are all expecting entertainment. Maybe I should import some... Hmm, maybe if I import ale or something. I could import barley. Yeah, these are all major trades though. Porting ale for the time being is really not that big of a deal, I think. Let's do that. Establish a trade route. I want to go for full trade, so trade until surplus is reached. The desired surplus is going to be 10. I'm just going to order a new horse. I don't know what that does, but I'm going to order it. Okay, fuel's slowly going up. And then it's lack of entertainment, which we should be solving soon. Here's the man that's bringing us our ale. He's on our land right now. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to track him. Oh, he's taking, he's taking the side routes. Once he gets here, he's going to take care of that lack of entertainment, hopefully. In fact, I kind of want to see him peddle his goods. Ah, oh, this is still such a cool feature. Okay, so this is our trading outpost. Let's, uh, let's greet him as he arrives. Hello. <laughs> I hear you've brought ale. That's important. I need everyone drunk so they don't realize how terrible all I am. And also to forget about the bandits and the other baron guy coming in. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Yeah, right right in there. All right, just park it alongside those discarded uh, discarded carts. Thank you. Well, not through them. I mean, we have five ale. Yeah, there's there's one slight problem. I'm cutting down every tree. All right, this guy's going to go planting instead. The requirement's not met. Why are the requirements not met? Yeah, you got nothing over here, but this guy should be able to. Maybe it has to be an empty plot too. I mean, this is a, no, this is an empty plot too. Plants not met. Four timber, eight planks, and four roofing tiles. Yeah, we should have that. All right, upgrade to level three. Level three, level three, level three. Okay, we don't have wealth for the for the other ones. Okay, so that should give us the next sort of thing here. But then obviously that's going to come with the downside of. I don't know what they want. <laughs> it's going to be cloaks and stuff, isn't it? And for that, we need yarn. So we're going to need more livestock, I think. Oh, look at it. Oh, that's way cooler. That level two one next door. I mean, what's that one? Level, level, it's tavern. Level one, look at that. Dude, that's so cool. So they give me two wealth a month, I think, these guys. Or is it two wealth? Someone like that. Pretty deforested, this area. <laughs> the buried deposits are no longer going to grow, I don't think. Yeah. Oh, they stole my eight, ten dice and then eggs. Dude. Okay, settlement settlement level increased. So let's get, remove the tariff from foreign imports. Better deals. So now, when trading. Yeah, that's, that's this is going to be a lot cheaper. Yeah, it's a lot, a lot cheaper. Okay. So with ale, I think I can import it a lot easier. That's a lot cheaper. Okay. 
I got a horse somewhere. I don't, I don't know, I don't know what, what exactly it's doing, but I have a horse somewhere. There you go. He's just chilling. Okay, so what do these new guys need? They need three types of food in the spot. I actually give them all the clothing they need already. That's really cool. We've got loads of shoes. We have loads of these things. I mean, honestly, a blacksmith workshop could be good. Or we could just import the things directly. Frankly. So now we need to start doing import and export. We could also import things, produce them, and then export them. So, for example, like... I don't know. Could, uh... Barley into malt, for example. Malt is four. To export. Barley is two to bring in. And how about ale? Ale's eight. Okay, let's start let's start importing. So instead of that, let's no trade. Let's stop trading in ale. Or screw it. Let's get a surplus of five, right? We'll trade to five. We're gonna start importing barley. Not like now, but like next time around, because we're about to you know kill the crops already. I think, yeah, I think that's that'll be a good shout. And then we can sort out a lot of these amenities, order in the rest, provided our uh tiling industry. It maintains strong. Four types of food on the marketplace. How many do we have currently? Three. We have, we have four. Eggs is a big part of our diet. Um, we could probably import some meat or something. I think the next thing I'm looking for. This is already clay. It's probably up here. Rich wild animals de deposit. Probably a good idea. We can import some good some weapons as well. So we can get uh, militia. We already have a retinue. But yeah, we don't really have anything else. So harvesting, plowing, and sowing crops. Last time I just harvested and then just didn't. Didn't plow or sow and did it all in the summer, which I feel like is a really bad idea. Work area is empty. That's the forager hut. Okay. September, it's time. Okay, so one, two, three. So we, I mean, we always need ale. Let's get rid of the sheep farmer and the weaver for now. They're not going anywhere. And then we need to get rid of one more. There's so much clay in storage. Uh, okay. Nah, we'll do that. I'll get rid of the woodcutters. I don't need that many. Or I guess the forester as well. Get rid of the forester. Oh, should we put him? We don't need a miner. Like, okay, let's just get rid of Tons of them. Okay, that is the economy set for the next little while. Let's do that. Because, like I said, if I, I'm going to import... I'm going to import malt. Sorry, barley. And then turn it into malt and, uh, and go from there. Okay, let's get all these malt houses and stuff ready. Right, let's get the, the pasta to help us out. Pasta, however you want to pronounce that. I think I've been making blanks in a while. Okay, we should explode with food. Then we should be able to get stuff from the tavern. Make everyone happy. Okay, cool. We don't need everyone on the farmhouse anymore. Actually, do, do we? Uh, it, I kind of want to replow. Isn't that a good thing? A lot of people crafting and waiting. Okay. Can't you replow the, the fields? Ooh. Maybe I should leave one fallow. I mean, you're going to be pretty good. I'll leave you fallow. And you are going to be Bali. So we got that's wheat, barley, wheat, flax. We have a load of flax. All right, let's get them plowing still. And we have loads of money, so let's start up that those barley. No, I don't want to do the barley trade just yet because we might sell barley by mistake. Uh, trade crops, barley. Let's establish a trade route for barley, I think. Establish a trade route for barley, and then we are going to establish one for ale. We already have one for ale. So then we're importing now. So full trade means that we'll trade until the surplus is reached. So if we have more ale, we'll trade it out. So if we always have someone in the malt house, then we should always be doing ale stuff. Okay, let's get some more burgage plots. Let's see the marketplace first. Can we support that? Yeah, we got, we got some good pride. This house is kind of like alone with its thoughts, but that's fine. Bunch of new houses. Let's go. we we'll desired surplus of 10. We don't ever want to run out like that. Brewery's doing all right. How's the malt house doing? Oh, it's also doing fine. I think we've already burnt through. Oh, God, they stole more stuff. They stole the malt, which is kind of important. Okay, it's time. We're going to we're gonna import some, some, some goods, I think. Military. We're going to need spears and such, I think. Spears and archers. So we're going to need large shields, spears, and warbows. We can make warbows. We can even sell warbows. How expensive are warbows? Five. I mean, it's worth it. Let's go to this level three one. Uh, yeah, Bowyer's workshop. So we need seven more th uh, level three burgers plots. Okay. So we need plowing and sowing crops. These guys haven't finished sowing the crops, though. They haven't finished plowing yet. Winter is approaching. All right, one more month. Come on. 
Fun, they're getting some wheat, but honestly, not nearly enough. It's not going to be a very high yield, methinks. I'm going to grade this to a level 3. We're investing in the future. Because they'll provide us more wealth. Okay, sowing progress on that is 100%. I'll take that then, very happily. And then this flax is less important than the wheat. Alright, and we've got high growth now. Oh, this has been a struggle of every single turn. Families come in. And that's December. Okay, so it looks like we sowed almost the entire field. Do we want to buy more sheep? Okay, we still have all the amenities, but we, what we need is armaments now. For that we're going to need iron. So, I mean, I could just import iron directly, like iron ore. What's the price difference between the two? Let's have a look. Okay, we have negative one planks. That's never good. So the helmet is six. Iron ore is three. So let's just import a bunch of... Oh, I've got, but the issue is I've got to then establish a trade route for these things. And I'm not happy with that. I want to buy some more sheep. Now my bandits come steal my stuff, man. I'm kind of sick of it. Right. Okay. I'm going to order iron ore. And we'll make everything else. I think. I think I'm, I'm just going to do that. I think I think that's a much better way of doing it. Trade route. Establish. We're going to import. Give me 25 of these. Okay. Iron ore into iron slabs is going to happen there. Got some more woodcutters. The forager hut is empty. Good reason. We don't need one of these hunters anymore. We need more planks. That's one saw pit. Where's the other saw pit? I actually have any planks. We don't need that trade anymore, I don't think, with uh, with the planks. Well, we're not doing it anymore. So, yeah, good. Just glad I didn't want it anyway. Uh, let's order another ox here. On a stable space. Ah, okay, let's start building more stables then. So they're going to start wandering off until I... Okay. <laughs> this ox is coming. We've got to get it ready for the ox. <laughs> He's going to run away if we don't. Right, let's upgrade to a small stable. Attach a family to this one as well. The ox is just chilling, waiting to be hitched onto something. Wait. V, what, are you, what are you doing? The brewer? Why, why is he walking up to the ox like that? Oh, no. Alright. Give me 20 or 35 barley. And then, and then we can export ale later. So, he's coming along. He's going to start giving us... I think he's just left. <laughs> he's going to start giving us barley. These three don't have anything that they need. I think it's just because they're far away, honestly. We have enough firewood for them. That, that just sounds like a, a bit of a skill issue to me, so... Hmm. Oh, these guys will love their things they need. Are we ready to kick on and push the next level? I think we might be. Alright, let's... A couple more of these to level 2. Did not mean to upgrade these to level 3, but here we are. And then all of these ones, I'm going to start turning into vegetable gardens. Oh, I've upgraded them to level 2. I cannot upgrade these to level 2 by mistake. There we go. Okay, I feel like we're finally hitting our stride. Uh, like, we're not... We have, like, obviously issues with money and stuff, but, like, we're not about to starve constantly. Um, and we're not constantly being harassed and harangued. Well, we kind of are. Oh, okay. Yep. <laughs> As I was saying that, they stole my grain and my eggs. So we have so much flour. I don't understand. Okay, let's stop ordering in bread. We don't need bread anymore. We have a load of it in the granary. I think he's just nicked it from the granary. Why did we not upgrade to a large storage house? That would be so much more sense than just two small ones. Okay, what's happening with the planks? Assign a livestock to it. It feels like these people aren't... Yeah, they're not doing anything. Alright, it's March. That means... Wait, we've already plowed. We've already, like, done most of this stuff. It's just a f this one field that I need to do, isn't it? Oh, no, there's another flax. Um, I mean, we can pull some people off some things to, to help out. Uh, We have loads of roof tiles anyway, so... Sweet, we've got ten sheep now. Okay, I don't need you right now, so let's chuck you there. Okay. I'm going to need to create a new field system over here. Just so that I can sort out uh, the crop rotations. The lack of entertainment. The tavern. Yeah, well, the tavern should be fine, so I'm real good. Yeah, we're just really lacking the planks. These guys aren't doing anything. It's the problem. I think what I'm going to do is create a second saw pit. Put it next door and then split the families. We don't need two families working on one saw pit where it's not even, you know, doing too much. Okay, most of the people are waiting or going for a drink, so we don't need all of them. Okay, don't need any of them, basically. Alright, let's get them back in the mines. It's <laughs> our main source of income, after all. Oh, ferry deposits. They're back now. Is everyone living in, in the new ones? I think, I think we're full, you know. Basically making, like, a suburban hell. Dude, look how, many, how much stuff they steal each time. Right, we, we need to deal with these guys. I say it every time, but we really do. I need a couple more families to move in. 
Alright, we're ordering another ox. Let's upgrade the tailor shop to level 3. Let's make you into a blacksmith's workshop. We still have so much flour. Why are we not using it? I just took the guy off the community oven, by the way. That's not that's not why we weren't using it. It's just, yeah. Okay, well, we're making iron slabs at least. Alright, new families. That's good. So we've actually we're actually exporting ale now. That's why we're making so much money. Because look, we have 12, we, we want 10, so this guy's coming around and buying our ale. Produce a decent amount. It'd be nice if we could set priorities, because right now we have... Tavern doesn't have anything, but the trading post just sold all our ale. So it'd be nice if I could, like, set a reserve. We're actually making flour, which is good. And high population growth, so we should get some more people in soon. Let's upgrade to a large storehouse. Okay, food variety, mostly full. These, all these areas up here could be level uh, upgraded to level 3 real easy. I kind of want to do that. So, upgrade, upgrade, and a set will upgrade. It's a great little knock that you, that when people join that you hear. Because it like, it's really like triggers that, that little dopamine hit my bed, in, my, in my brain that goes, oh, Yes, people. Fantastic. But you should, you're like continually getting wool. That's good. Damn near 100% crop growth. That's what we want to see. We're going to have a load of wheat, load of barley. And they've stolen my iron. Okay. Wait. Oh, and the 14 ale. That sucks so bad. That's our economy they've stolen. So you don't have any clothing, apparently. Red you to level 3. I never noticed that it draws the settlement on the map. That's so cool. Okay, we have a ton of planks now. So I'm going to go ahead and unassign you. So we're not using all the all the bloody timber in the world. Well, that was migrated. Oh, they're leaving. Oh, that's such an important source of food. Oh, we don't have food for three months. Oh, that's a problem. All right, we're going to set up our trade for food again. Uh, import up to 20, if you don't mind. Establish a trade route. It's relatively inexpensive to do that for us now. Iron ore is looking good. We have a load of clay. I mean, we have a ridiculous amount of clay. Tons of sidearms. Okay, now we need shields and that sort of stuff. Join his workshop. Yeah, a lot of it's meat. Which is an issue, and berries, because those are, yeah, those aren't our renewable resources throughout the year. I, I, we kind of need vegetables. But what's going on with the vegetable potches? I mean, yeah. My husband's got wool bows, at least. Berries are stolen nearby bandits. What do they take? Berries and wool. Hmm. Make a large shield, please. Upgrade that to level three. The issue is our economy is going to grind to a halt the second I, I get a militia together. Once this is done, uh, we can upgrade again. Settlement level increased. We're now in medium town. Filed cart and food cart provides a passive income of bread, which I think is, and, and firewood, which I think is going to be perfect for us. Alternatively, I could go up here. I get bakeries. As much as I'd love to do this, I think I'm just going to go for foreign suppliers. Although I could get Boge Plots level 3 pretty easy. I would cart and food cart. Can I? Would it help if I produce more than one of these? Oh, that's quite good. That's a good amount of bread and, and firewood that's producing. Good. It's also consuming a lot of resources. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Uh, okay. September, which means harvesting season. The most important family is this guy. Like, he, like Barbara Jorg and Viet are are kind of our guys. I kind of screwed with them. That's how brutal this mode is. If I try and increase taxes by 10%, minus 16. If I do that, I die. <laughs> like, 10% taxes, and my people are like, whoa, 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 commie. The hell do you think you're doing here, huh? This is an anarcho commune. I think we managed to get everything already. Yeah, 115 wheat, nice. Now, everyone's plowing, it's good. Oh, no, it's not. Uh, change you up to wheat, barley. These yields are terrible. I should let it go fallow, I really should. Um, so we're letting this one go fallow. We'll make another small field. Just make it flax, that'd be ideal. Yeah, I just can join it to this one. I'm also going to leave this one fallow. And then we'll, we'll make another field for, what was that, barley? So this one's wheat. Yeah, two wheat, we need a barley one. It's good. Well, we import barley, don't we? So let's just make it wheat. I mean, we import a lot of barley. And then we export ale. So, I mean, yeah, let's see. In, in terms of materials, we've got loads of barley. Always got barley, so that's not really a concern. Jesus Christ, these bandits. Okay, we've got most of these fields done. Weaver's making a bunch of yarn. Let's get you... I want to make one of these guys into a... 
another clothes guy and make him into a cloak because we've got loads of yarn we should be using. Uh, the uh, saw pits are back to just sort of waiting for some reason. Okay, it might look bad. It might look like we only have two months of food. Uh, and that's because it, it is bad. That's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> it's actually not that bad. It's, it's just because everyone's throwing the uh, fields right now. So in the farmhouse, we have 105 wheat that needs to be processed. But they can only do that once, uh, once this stuff's all done. And I think we're on the last field. I think as well, the issue is how far away we have to travel now to uh, get the wood situation up and running. New message. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. Got raiders coming. Prepare for the next attack. It's going to happen right during harvesting season as well. And now everyone's transporting stuff. Start getting some food together. Hopefully. Or we die. I mean, that's, that's also an option. Okay. Well, the grain got put in the granary. <laughs> Oh, they've stolen so much stuff each time, but I can't, like... The issue is, cause they're, because they're stealing so much stuff, my economy keeps on, like, is, is, is on a bit of a, a string. Which means I can't do anything about it. Those wild animals moving away is kind of bad. Um, so we're in needle planks, but they're just sort of waiting. I've got livestock, um, yeah, assigned to these guys. They kind of do one and then they leave to rest because they're tired. So I think what we're going to do is get another hitching post. I'll pop it here. Start sorting that out. Right, we're starting to put together planks, but I don't know where they're going. <laughs> Not trading, am I? No, no trades. Okay, well, let's let's start trading in, in planks. I'll import up till 20. So we always have 20 on us. Because we've got money, man. That The ale trade is treating us real nice. Build a couple more houses. Expand the living spot here. Upgrade a couple more to level 3. Okay, we're going to have... Two wheat, three wheat, four wheat. We're going to have a decent amount of wheat. We've got some a good amount of fallow fields as well. Two fallow fields. So we can start cycling them. Maybe we want to get a couple more fields going, I think. Just don't have enough planks to do anything. God, they're always used. And everything's been stolen again. We stole three of uh, five ale. <laughs> and unfortunately, because of that, our food variety is kind of collapsing. We don't have berries. It's just bread and eggs. Some vegetables. Let's uh, start importing some of that as well. Oh, meat's super cheap. So let's import 20 meat. Let's also import 25 berries because we need to export dye. So we have a full trade of like 10 dye. Then we can export it and get someone on that permanently. Import, export, ladies and gentlemen. We, 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 we've skipped over everything else. We've gone straight from uh, feudalism to capitalism. I don't tax my anyone either, so... Everyone's having a great time. It's in March already. Excellent. Nice, easy winter, that. So who's not getting their needs, then? Everyone. <laughs> yeah, it's that play food variety, isn't it? So I tried to get more vegetables, but... Yeah, didn't really help. Should get us some berries. That should help with things. Right, we need four more... Burgage plots of level three or higher. So I've got another tailor that I'm going to use to produce... Other things. Okay, so we've started importing... Our berries and our meat. Okay, that should help assuage supply concerns. There we go. There's your food variety. Fuel and clothing. Okay, and this tailor's shop. He's going to be doing cloaks. Because someone else is on, on, uh, on the clothes, normal clothes. Do I want to get another brewery? No, it seems like he's keeping up fine. Our biggest expansion yet. We need 18 timber. We currently have two. All right, we're going to get another logging camp. Uh, I also need some guys doing forestry because they need to plant <laughs> like we're running out of trees <laughs> I've sort of treated them like this uh, completely replaceable resource have zero timber yeah they're just so far away okay you two do not need livestock anymore I'll free them up for someone else okay got loads of berries here what's your livestock situation you can get another horse I'll have stable space. I'm pretty sure we do, but I'll get another hitching post just in case. Okay, we're actually getting timber now. <laughs> That's nice. So let's get another timber thing. Just a logging camp over here. Yeah, we've got loads of food and fuel. We've got a guy producing dyes constantly, and then uh, we are selling said dye. Meat's coming in. Bandits are stealing our stuff. Life goes on. And right, we're slowly increasing our wealth. That's the sort of thing I'm looking for here. Because if we increase our wealth, we're all good. And we have enough stuff for a militia. 
Okay, there goes the berries. Do you, do you want? Shall I increase my ale? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna increase my ale production. Um, because currently we're, I think we're also buying ale, as well as selling it sometimes. Ah, system have increased. Excellent. Okay, what do we want to get now? Could enable the production of helmets, or I could go for bakery extension. Twice the efficiency. Help our food, but we're not really concerned about food. Sheep grazing, uh, sorry, multiply, that's nice, but not necessary. Although all these things are nice, but unnecessary. Whereas this, I think, is necessary. So we've reached the maximum settlement levels. <laughs> so there's one thing off the, uh, like, secured. That's actually technically a victory condition as well. I've got the achievement, Cheerful Metropolis, reach 100 approval in a large town. Look at that. They love me. Has occurred to me that we should be, uh immediately trying to secure our crops i haven't been harvesting oh wait it's not it's not just yet okay well that was close i looked at august I was like oh god is that before september or after okay, we have like a load of clay so i'm gonna s like slow down mining operations and load don't need to this lot fully migrating away from me which kind of sucks all right bring in everything from the fields chaps oh look trees are starting to grow now that's good we're reforesting the area, bit by bit. Okay, I think we brought in all the crops. No. Family's pretty much immediately moving, which is good. So anytime I need more population, just, yeah, grab them. Okay, I'm going to try taxing my populace now. Yep, they immediately hit me. That's fine. All right, let's upgrade these things to better levels now. Because I can fulfill their needs and they're going to pay me rent. So, and of Ravid's... Band of raiders have been seen. Enemy unit has been spotted. All right, they're coming for us. All right, 36 spear militia. 36 archers. Ooh, that's that's a lot more than I was expecting. All right, I'm grabbing everyone. All right, we're going to make them go there. You lot are going to sit just behind. I actually have a retinue I need to send in as well. It's only right to stand with my men, right? All right, the arrows are already firing well-oiled machine best equipped men in the business okay we need you lot to go straight in and then you lot run away how many dead do you think we're gonna get i could have like harried them a bit more to be honest oh look at this surrounding them all okay looks like we've lost a couple of men already oh they are actually they're getting destroyed i think they're already running oh they're broken i think they're all broken everyone's broken i mean we have to take advantage of this right Clear out some bandit camps. Get them into position. All right, fire, lads. Fire on the bandit camp. Is it empty? Might be empty, you know. I think we might have killed everyone in the camp already. Uh-oh. Run! Please run away. Run away. Just keep running. Keep running. Now shoot at him. There we go. Excellent. All right, well, uh, we could... I'm going to send the money to my treasury. I think we deserve it. And we absolutely smashed this lot. All right, the rest of you head home. Successful winter campaign, that. It's another one. And this one was in the resource to the local town. We feel of quite a large army now. Some resources have been stolen by bandits. Some things never change. We've cleared out the ones close to us. So how many are there left? There's um, three up here, one up there. So there's four left. What we can do is claim over here and claim over here at the same time. That did mean we didn't get to plant all the fields, but frankly, I think we'll be fine. Gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with all these people. Now we've claimed two regions coming equal to the strongest on the map. I think I'm, I'm pretty happy to call it there, personally. I, I think we've done really, really well. I mean, off a ridiculously difficult start and then constantly being looted and attacked. Uh, I, I Yeah, I, I think this is successful. Um, I think I might continue this one on stream, potentially. Uh, just because I'm incredibly proud of this uh, this entire set I've got going. But hopefully you did enjoy. Uh, I would encourage you to do this uh, for yourself when you get your hands on the game. And I will, if, I mean, please like and subscribe if you did enjoy, chaps. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Huge shout out to my Patreons. Most importantly, Redguard76, Lewis Wright, Ryan B, Atreides, Blenderman, Krilly, Ghostwolf, JDow52, Xiaomi, Luke, Matthew McHugh, Mike473, Mikey Lewis, Original, Shadow Singer, and Tom. This support means a lot, guys. Also here, why not watch another video? I mean, it's it's right there. Just just click on it.